best way to sharpen your pencils for smooth shading let's jump right in now these are the tools we are going to use for this video blades cutter a pencil a sandpaper the first thing i'm going to do is to expose an inch of the pencil removing the wood hold the pencil this way and rest your thumb on the blade push the blade with your thumb and spin it each time take off thin piece of the wood and rotate it and make sure you don't go too deep do this careful and slowly if you try taking off the wood at the same time you risk taking off the lead of the pencil When you are exposing the lead, do not put pressure on it because it can break easily, especially if it's a charcoal pencil. Make sure you start slowing down the process when you start seeing the lead. Expose enough of the lead in order to use the side when shading. Sometimes there are some glue stains on the lead, especially if it's a charcoal pencil. Make sure you get rid of that from the lead. So now we can refine the tip of the pencil. There are different ways to refine the lead of pencils. You can either use the blade to refine the tip of the pencil or use a sandpaper. When using the sandpaper, Make sure the pencil lies down almost horizontal on the paper and constantly spin it so that it doesn't become flat on only one side. This way you can get close to the paper with the side of the pencil. Now clean it with a rag or a tissue paper to take the dust off. Sometimes leaving the excess powder on the leg gets all over the drawing paper and it's very difficult to erase. So this is our final result. This way you will feel more comfortable to shade with the side of the leg and move freely with your hand. Don't hold the pencil to shade this way. You might be tempted to use the tip of the pencil to shade. Hold it like this. Or just put the pencil in your two fingers. This way you are protected enough to use the side or the lead to shade. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and arts. Thank you.